Today we are going to learn about the 12 rules of subject verb agreement. Subject verb agreement is essential for writing and speaking English. Hence we are going to learn about it thoroughly. Rule 1 is if the subject is singular the verb must be singular too. An example is she dances gracefully. Here she and dances are both singular. Rule 2 is if the subject is plural the verb must also be plural. An example is we focus on the task we are given. Here we and focus are both plural. Rule 3 is when the subject of the sentence is composed of two or more nouns or pronouns connected by and, use a plural verb. An example is a student and the teacher need a healthy relationship. Here and is used so we are using need, a plural verb. Rule 4 is when there is one subject and more than one verb, the verbs throughout the sentence must agree with the subject. An example is an intelligent man plans and prepares for the future. Here, plans and prepares are verbs Rule which agree with is man, when a phrase the comes noun. between the subject and the verb, remember that the verb still agrees with the subject, not the noun or pronoun in the phrase following the subject of the sentence. An example is the learner with his three PhDs is very dedicated to his work. Here, we are ignoring the phrase in the middle. Rule 6 is when two or more singular nouns or pronouns are connected by or or nor, use a singular verb. An example is the CEO or the CFO approves the proposal of the proceeding. Here we can see that we are using or, so the verb is singular. Rule 7, also known as the proximity rule, is when a compound subject contains both a singular and a plural noun or pronoun joined by or or nor, the verb should agree with the part of the subject that is closest to the verb. An example is, the students or the teacher checks the daily attendance. Here, teacher is closest to the verb, so the verb agrees with it. Rule 8 is, the words and phrases each, each one, either, neither, everyone, everybody, anyone, anybody, nobody, somebody, someone, and no one are singular and require a singular verb. An example is, each of them was very motivated. Here, we have used each, so the verb is was. Rule 9 is, non-count nouns take a singular verb. An example is, education is the foundation of a man's future. Here, education is a non-count noun, so we are using is. Rule 10 is, some countable nouns in English such as earnings, goods, all the surroundings, proceeds, contents, and valuables only have a plural form and take a plural verb. An example is, the odds are stacked against your team. Here we can see that we have used odds, so R is the verb that we are going to use. Rule 11 is, in sentences beginning with there is or there are, the subject follows the verb. Since there is not the subject, the verb agrees with what follows the verb. An example is, there are a lot of opportunities to enhance our skills. Here we can see that R agrees with opportunities. Rule 12 is, collective nouns are words that imply more than one person but are considered singular and take a singular verb. Some examples are group, team, committee, family, and class. An example is, the pride of lions is discreetly waiting to prance upon the prey. Here, the pride of lions is a collective noun, so we are using is as the verb. However, the plural verb is used if the focus is on the individuals in the group. This is much less common. An example is, the committee participate in various volunteer activities in their private lives. Here, we can see that we are focusing on the individuals of the committee. So, the verb is plural. Thank you for watching.